Hey, misfits, this is Tony Craft, and I got some mail to open. So Lori from Missouri contacted me on Facebook after she saw my Yvonne Williams tutorial and kit review and try. Um, and so she sent me a box of what I think is supplies to try out more Yvonne Williams tutorials. So let's open it up. I haven't opened it yet. I did read the letter, but I haven't taken anything out. So in the letter, she says, here are a few things for you to try. You can find all the tutorials on Yvonne Williams' YouTube channel, which is where I learned how to do them. Dragon eyes, fractal wraps, and chain mail bezels. Here are the tutorials I used. And she lists um, four tutorials from Yvonne Williams <clears throat> that she used to make these. And then she goes on and gives me a whole bunch of um, tips and tricks that she's figured out over time, which is awesome. The four tutorials that she lists here of Yvonne Williams are chainmail bezel for undrilled stones, dragon eye of Sauron tutorial, fractal wrap wire tutorial, and sculpting a green dragon eye. Okay, so we have our 26 gauge and tarnish patch. And the rest of it she has wrapped up in here. Okay, so we've got, so this has got to be for the chain mail. She sent 18 gauge, 3 16th um, little hoops that are cut. Then we have a 30 by 40 milliliter, not milliliter, millimeter, 30 by 40 millimeter uh, clear, clear cabochon um, or cover. I'm not sure what those are called. And we've got a 25 millimeter one and another 25 millimeter one. And then we've got, gosh, she sent a lot. This says 30 by 40 millimeter pendant tray. <clears throat> So I'm guessing the big, the big eyeball is going to go in there, which is cool. And these are maybe just extras, some little gears. Okay, and then we've got one more thing to open up here. This one says 50 millimeter on it. That's a big ol' honkin' one. And this feels like real glass. I'm guessing these are all gonna be the same. And we've got uh, two 38 millimeters and two 30 millimeters. So look at all that stuff she sent. Thank you, Lori. So now we gotta go watch some tutorials and figure out which one of these to do on camera. Okay, so I've looked through the tutorials that she suggested and I'm gonna go with the chain mail bezel. And so the Yvonne Williams tutorial that I'm gonna try to follow is right here. And she starts with 15 of each color. Let's see. And there's 15 of those guys. So I'm going to open up my darker colored rings because I think that'll be easier to see. So this is my first time trying my hand at chain mail and um, I just watched through this tutorial and it, it did, did seem fairly easy. So I think this is a good beginner's tutorial. Okay, so we are going to open up 15 of these guys. Yvonne sort of makes rows of these guys. Okay. Then she picks these up and sticks them, sticks one closed hoop, oops, one closed hoop on each open hoop. I'm just gonna close these up a little bit better. Okay, and then she says to not put a closed tube on this last one, you're gonna take that last closed tube and put it on the first one so that there's two 
closed hoops. All right, now let's see what she says again. Okay, and then we're gonna close this one up. Image of each other, got it. Okay, second ring behind the first. Okay. Okay, hold on, you on. Got these two rings. I've got this is supposed to be like on top of there. That, I think. Oh my god. I think. Like this. I understand what she's doing. I fully get it. But for some reason, mine just isn't coming out that way. It's not laying like hers is laying. I feel like I'm close though. All right, let's try it one more time. Let's see, how did that happen? I never opened a silver one. How did it get on there? Oh my god, I think I got it. Okay, and then she just keeps repeating. I can see why people like doing chain mail. Um, because it's very like, it's very repetitive, but you still have to use your brain, um, which is the kind of stuff that I like doing as well. Um, I love lo losing myself in, in rep repetitive, but creative tasks. It really gets me in the zone. And I'm sure once you get the hang of it, you can go pretty fast. Okay, so I got the chain mail part done. Um, I didn't quite get the connecting this to make a loop thing. I think I'm gonna have to go back and watch the tutorial and listen to it without cameras on and try to figure that out. Um, it is, uh, we just had daylight savings time, so I'm a little foggy. <laughs> but I think I did this part right. You can see the ditch. Um, and it looks like it lays pretty right, so I'm excited about that. And like I said, I think this was fun. Um, I'll definitely try some more chain mail. I have no idea if this is a like beginner's pattern or just a standard chain mail or what. So I'm gonna dig a little deeper and maybe do some videos on this. So thank you so much to Lori for sending me all these supplies to try out. Um, it was fun and I will definitely try to make some more videos with them. Um, and also a huge thank you to Yvonne Williams who makes awesome tutorials that are easy to follow. Make sure you go and check out her tutorials here and i hope you guys have a wonderful crafty week ahead of you and i'll see you next time